Hello everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I'm going to show you how to upload 3D, 3D Max model to AI House. Okay, so first thing first, your 3D Max. Okay, must have installed with a uh, V-Ray. Second, your 3D Max must be 2018. Okay, which is shown here like this. Okay, then next, come to website. Open web browser. Okay. Choose AI House Download. Okay, download this AI House tool. Okay, you do get something like this. Okay, next find your file, which should be here. Download. Okay, you drag and put in your desktop. Okay, it will look like this. Okay, it will look like this. Okay, after that, attract here. Attract here, you got something like this, which is this one. Okay, then double click this one. Then we will start install. Okay, for my install carry, so I will be having like this. Okay, this is for SKP convert, this is for 3ds Max. But then for now, download this plugin. Okay, you press your download. Okay, we'll look at this. Okay, only support 2018. So your 3ds Max might be 2018. Lah. Okay, once you download complete, okay. Then you can open your 3D Max, then it will look something like this. Okay, after that you open your 3D Max. Once you complete, you right click, you'll see this one, AI House Tools or not. Okay. So I will I will import a model to show you guys. Okay, okay. once you import your model will be leak, look something like this. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now first thing first. Before we do AI House, we need to do some checking first. We go to Drama, which goes step one, Gamma, and Setup. Okay, which is this one. Come here, Rendering. Come here, Gamma. <coughs> setup here, press this. Then we'll look at this. If this is thick, okay, must just choose, just choose untick it. Okay, first step done. Okay, second step. Second step is customize unit setup set to millimeter. Okay. So, cast here, customize, unit setup, change to millimeter, okay, this one, that will look like this, okay, it's same as the AI house tools, okay, units, okay, cleaning scene, and the AI tools, okay, third is material check, oh, third is, select is, uh, select model and see if you got anything delete or not. Okay, so let's say this is my model. See if you got any more outside thing or not. Okay, control I. See if you got anything or not. Press delete. If you don't have, then it's like this. Okay, okay. Next, we're going to do uh, check material for my model. Okay, you press shift T. You can able to check is it okay or is it not okay. If not okay, then you have to just link it back. Okay, to link it back. Can you press in this mode? M. Okay. Delete this person. Okay. This mode. Like this. Or oh, for me, I prefer in this mode. Okay. Like this. Okay. So I do a double check. Okay. See, AI house not allowed for you, not allowed for multi multiple like that. Okay, which is two material link in one object. So in order to do this, you have to remove. Okay. So in this case, it will be the, the top here and the bottom for the table. Okay. So for my case, I can do is this. I edit poly. <coughs> Select the top face. I detach it. Which is this one. Detach. I select polygon, then I come here detach. Okay, that will look something like this. Then I press M. So this is the top part. I link here. Bottom, I link here. Okay, oh, you can't see the difference now. My I create a new one. One go to the top, one go to the bottom. Okay, the top material is this. Which is this one? 
Okay. Oops. So it's a top one. Okay. Never mind. I change again. This is the this one. This is the oops. Then double click it. This is for the the other one, which is this. Okay. So they both are the same already. Okay, and these two can be removed. Okay, then this one to show material. This one show material. Okay, then link back already. So when AI house, you only can change the material. Okay, then I check for the rest. Okay, this is so far so good. <coughs> okay, this all is the same. Okay, so far so good. Alright, so check the material, which is this. Okay, next. Check negative check is it as the free poly okay? So this one to check negative negative check which is this. Once you press it, it will become like face oriented. You select it, see does it go green or not? Okay, seems like not. Okay, never mind. If this can't really work, we can go use here. Show statistic so can show base oriented. Sorry, I've forgotten I should out of this mode. My bad. Okay, so I'm out already. Our face oriented. Ah, the well, green color means is flip. Okay, so once this show is flip, right? Okay, for me. I rarely use mesh, so I come to should be mesh also the same, but I will prefer my type is poly. So I did poly, select polygon. Since all this polygon is uh, flipped, I just press flip. All this press flip. More or less like this. One stun flip. Okay. Done. Next, last is combine and rename. So combine them. Since it's got multiple object, combine them and rename. Okay, like this. Then the final step. I try. Okay. So Take a table, a chive. Okay, let's name it table 001, then upload to AI house. Okay, once you're done, ready. So come to business center. Okay, go to a product, go to my, go to publish. Okay, name your table. Wow. Table, okay. The style, okay. The rules you want, the model size, okay. Then select your model, then you upload, okay. Once you submit, then later we will check. We we'll check inside your house, okay. Okay. Once you're done, ready. You just from floor plan, come to my. Go to upload, okay. Then you see your name, okay, which is here. Just drag, drop, and there you go. You've upload your own model, okay. You can even change the texture. Uh, let's go forward. See just the one part, two part, yeah, can change. Okay, hit the like button and subscribe. Okay, bye.